hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is timmy kebza james for our new and old subscribers you're welcome to today's tutorial where i'm going to teach you how to sew a corset so guys in our previous tutorial i taught you how to cut the corset so what i did here is i went ahead to add half of an inch sewing allowance all around the panels and i have my panels here and i went ahead to cut all my pieces right so you can see i have the center front the side front my cups panel which are two panels then I have my center bags, right? So I've cut, I went ahead to cut four panels of each pattern. I cut four panels. That's because we have two panels actually, the right side and the left side. Then I want to use the same satin fabric to cut out my lining, right? So I used interfacings on all my panels. I attached interfacing. That's on my, on my main fabric, the one I'm going to be using as the outer layer i used wording a very soft wording to interface it and the one i'm going to be using as my lining piece i used um hair stay to interface it right that's just because you don't have to do the same thing as mine you can do what you prefer right so guys that's what i'm using so what i have actually is for each piece i have two layers of interfaced one with lining and two layers interfaced with wording so now i'm going to put all my pieces together starting from the two center fronts that i have right so i'm just matching that side and sewing on the half inch sewing allowance that i left right so you can see then i'm going to be joining the side piece on one side so let's say i'm joining the right side now right using half of an inch so you can see i have that cup shape now i'm going ahead to join the the left side so you should do once you're sewing anything with panels that's how you should go start from the midpoint going to to the left then to the right another panel towards the left then to the right right so that was what i did you can see i have my front piece right and i'm going to open press it don't worry but that will be after i've joined the back side so i'm going to be attaching the back side to the front piece as well i'm so i'm attaching the side back to the side front right so because that's the the side back is actually supposed to match the side front so i'm attaching the side back to the side front as well using half of an inch now if you had more than half of an inch sewing allowance at your side do ensure to take the sewing allowance that you have you don't have to use half inch like mine because i used half inch because i left half inch sewing allowance right so i'm going to attach the center front now to the side back right so mind you i'm attaching my main bodies first that's the one with the wording is the one that i'm fixing now in general so i'm going to go ahead and connect my 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 lining piece separately right so what i did on my main bodies here is what i'm going to go ahead and do on my lining but before then i'm going to go ahead and do the cups first right but then at this point this is what it looks like so you can see the opening for the cups are already set that u shape you're seeing right so here are my cup um panels right so i'm going to separate them from the lining uh panels first and work on my main fabric first right so i'm going to go ahead and sew now one thing you should do is guys i forgot to tell you always 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 label your panels and as as long as you're sewing anything that has panels label it and make sure you see that mid line that i have there is is a notch so make sure that that point come together right so i'm going ahead to sew along the half inch that i left for my panel right big that now i labeled my panel and gave it a green line don't forget to add your green line right so this is what i have when it's ironed right and you can see i've open pressed it nicely and i also pressed my panel right so i'm going to be fixing in my cup that's my already made cup inside the the cup layer that i have now this is not necessary since we fused the the cup right but i just want this cup to give it more support but as you can see the cup that i measured is bigger than the ready-made cup right that's the stop bot cup right but i'm going to use it anyways because i want it to give her structure but first let me bone my my dress so i'm using this boning you can see this one is the plastic boning right 
and then i also have the rigilin boning which you can sew on it but for the plastic boning you can also in on it it will break your machine and uh, your needle and it can also cause damages to your machine but on the rigilin boning you can go ahead and sew on it like so so you just trim off one side of your sewing allowance and bring the other sewing allowance over and so on it but this one for the plastic bonings there are two ways that i prefer fixing it either on that half of an inch sewing allowance that i have you can see i just sewed it down on one side that's if i want to put two uh boning lines on one seam i'll just open press the seam allowance and sew them round then i put the boning inside the seam that i made right or there is another method but first off you when you want to use your boning you go ahead and um file it or you ch chop it off with a scissors like so and use um a match stick or a candle any source of light though to burn the the edge right as you can see i'm measuring my boning out then i'm going to tr trim off the the edges that's the sharp points with my scissors then i'm going to go ahead and use a matches you can use scissors or any sort of light is fine right to just burn the mouth like so so that you can shape it as you wish right sorry guys my fan was disturbing my light so you go ahead and burn it off like so and arrange it just just look at what i'm doing guys it's just it, there's nothing difficult there and then you have to be careful if you want to use a glove or a piece of rag that's fine then you tuck it inside the seam like you can see right now you see that curve you want that curve to sort of be facing down if you're putting on the wrong side of your lining but if you're putting it on the right side of your lining you want the cuff to be facing up right so i'll do another one for you to see but then let me show you the second way of inserting your bone in first so the second way so you can see what it looks like on the outside it looks really clean and nice i like this very method because it usually comes out really clean especially if you want your lines to be visible right so for the second one you're going to use a scissors right to chop off one of your sewing allowance then you sew the other one to cover it up that's um you can you also use this method on jean right so i'm going to do a video especially for that method of sewing right so just stay tuned guys and at this point if you're not yet subscribed please ensure to subscribe to my channel right because if you watch to this point it means you're enjoying the video so guys what i'm going to do now is to turn the other sewing allowance to the other side and so to create a channel for my boning right so you can also use a bias tape you can make bias tapes and just sew on your sewing allowance and pass in your boning through those bias tapes right but i really don't like doing that because for some reason i don't like the way it sits on my sewing allowance so you can see i've created a cage for my boning right so that's what i'm going to go ahead and do on all the seams you just measure out your boning according to your length of your seam but you're going to leave half of an inch sewing allowance on the hem of the blouse and of the and on the top side of the blouse so you can attach now for this blouse i'm going to turn it over with a lining and add an illusion neck so on the top side i'm going to be leaving half of an inch sewing allowance to pass my bone in right and then for the downside of the um, blouse i'm going to be adding a peplon right so guys don't forget half of an inch on the hem half of an inch on the upper side the upper side is where i'm going to be adding my illusion and then turning over my lining and for the lower side i'm going to be using it to join my peplon to the upper part of my blouse so you can see i'm going ahead to tuck in my bone in again another method is you can use a tape just like this one it could be a masking tape it could be a white tape or this black tape to just go ahead and seal um the head of the boning now but i discovered that when you do this it's actually nice it works but most times when i do this method i find it difficult to move the boning inside like to 
insert the bone in inside the the cage that I've created for the bone in right so you can see I'm trying to I, I just I had to show you guys this Point, guys so that you know what you're dealing with right so the tape does not allow the bony to move easily like that so it was a little bit of a hassle for me but if you're fine with it or if you don't have any source of light for you to um burn the mouth the mouth of the the two edge let me not say mouth like a village girl guys so the two edge then you can go ahead and use that method so i'm going to go ahead and do all off camera to show you so you can see i'm done fixing my my boning and then i've not ironed it at this point that's why you're seeing those crease lines when i iron it to be nice and straight and i've also fixed one of the cups so i want to show you the reason why i fixed that one off camera is because i want to try this method of fixing cup to see if it works because i do not i want to use that cup right that i'm fixing i'm just going to place that cup inside the cup that i built that's the store bought cup so i'm just placing it inside the cup now the reason why i didn't just make my cups to be exactly the size of the store bought one is i could not get the exact one that fits the client that has this um garment and she wants full coverage she does not want her her cleavage to show that much and we know cozy reveals a lot of cleavage so that was why i just sandwiched this cup inside the other cup and i'm going to sew now my seam line will match the seam line down and then i'll sew starting from the midpoint to one edge then i'll come back from the other edge to where my seam started right so now back to what i was talking about the cups it's going to help me to give um why i drafted my own and used it like this is because i want it to give her more coverage guys so by the time i add lining and add my illusion neck it will sit properly but if it does not have an illusion neck or a yoke on the blouse you can't you should not use this cup right you should just go ahead and use the underwire on it and do not use uh, this cup inside the inbuilt one except if you want you don't mind having your cleavage outside then you can use your regular cup and just use it as a pattern to draft your basic body your cup bodies sorry then you join it together i hope you understand what i'm saying if you don't understand let me hear you in the comment section and then maybe i'll make another video or i'll explain to you more on the comment section or whatever guys if you're not subscribed to my channel again guys do ensure to subscribe right it will help me and do ensure to like my videos it will help me with the youtube algorithm right guys so please do ensure to do that for me and share the video so that it gets to more people right so this is it about our corset if you want you can go ahead and join your lining if you're not adding a yoke to it you can just join your lining to the corset by sewing the upper side and the hem side and that will be it guys so i'm going to be uploading the finished video of this corset guys so stay tuned